Hey friends, Daniel here with the Leap Pages Tech Team bringing you today's tech tip. Landing pages can make a great addition to your existing WordPress site. And publishing pages to your site is easy with our connector plugin. During this video, we're going to cover how you can publish, update, and delete landing pages on WordPress. So as you can see, I do have my landing pages account pulled up here. I am under the landing pages section of my account where I've created and published several pages already. Now, the first step that we want to take here is we do want to go ahead and download the Lead Pages WordPress plugin so that we can install that on our WordPress site. The Lead Pages WordPress plugin is going to be found under the publishing options of a landing page. Now, from this screen that we're on currently, I can access those publishing options. I'm going to find them under the Actions menu and Publishing Options. On the modal that appears here, I'm going to go ahead and click into the WordPress tab where I can download the WordPress plugin. Now, as I've downloaded the Lead Pages WordPress plugin, one quick thing that I did want to make sure to mention is to use a browser like Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox when downloading the Lead Pages WordPress plugin because this file does need to stay zipped. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the publishing modal here and also out of my downloads. Now let's go ahead and head into my WordPress account where I'm going to go ahead and install the Lead Pages WordPress plugin. In WordPress, I'm going to go to Plugins and Add New. From this point, I'm going to say Upload Plugin, Choose File, Select that file from my device and open it, install now, and then of course, activate the plugin. Once I've activated the Lead Pages WordPress plugin, I am going to be asked to log in. So from this point, let's go ahead and click into Login to Lead Pages, where I'm going to go ahead and add in my login information. Now, as I'm adding in my login information, just a quick thing that I did want to make sure to mention is that you will want to enter in your lead pages login information. If you are using a password keeper, keep in mind that it will try to input your WordPress login information, not your lead pages login information. So you may need to manually type this in. Let's go ahead and sign in. And from this point, let's work on publishing a landing page to WordPress. So as you can see, I do have a password keeper here. Um, so just, again, something to keep in mind as you log in. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a new landing page. So I'll say Add New. And I'm just going to go through each of these options so that we can talk through each of the, the publishing options within the Lead Pages WordPress plugin for a landing page. Now, our first option is to select a lead page. I'm going to go ahead and just refresh this, and then I'm going to use my drop-down menu where I can go ahead and scroll through, or I can search. So if I wanted to do checkout, for example, I could easily search that and select it. My next option as we move down is select a display type. So we have four types of pages here. Let's just go through these now. Landing page, which is just a normal page with a slug. A home page, which is going to appear on the root domain. A welcome gate, which is going to appear for first time visitors only. And then of course a 404 error page. I'm gonna go ahead and select landing page, just publishing a normal page. Once I've done this, I have the option to set a custom slug. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just keep this as checkout, but of course you could change this to be whatever you'd like, just deleting what's there and inputting what you want. My last option here is going to be set page now, we do have two options for the Lead Pages WordPress plugin. Yes, cache for improved performance, and no, refetch on each visit. Now, as we're talking about set page cache, I just want to make sure to mention that uh, if you are using any caching plugins, make sure to whitelist your lead pages so that your updates do show. Once we have what we want set, all we need to do is go ahead and publish. This will then publish our page, and we can, of course, go ahead and view it. But let's take a look at what our URL looks like. So this is going to be the URL of where my page is able to be viewed at, hosted on my domain. Now that we've worked on adding a landing page to WordPress via the Lead Pages WordPress plugin, let's talk about how to delete one. So let's click into landing pages. So under Lead Pages, landing pages. So we can see a list of all of our landing pages. From this point, I'm going to go ahead and search for that page that I just published. And 
All I'm going to do to delete this page is I'm going to click the checkbox to the left of the page name. In the bulk actions menu, I'm going to say move to trash and apply. This is going to move that page that I've created into a trash folder. I'm going to go ahead and click into the trash as well because I do want to delete it from there. And I can do the same thing as I had done before. I can click the checkbox to the left of the page name, bulk actions and delete permanently and apply. Or I can say empty trash. Either option will work. Now that we've gone ahead and added a landing page to WordPress and deleted a landing page, I'm going to go ahead and just head back to my lead pages account. So one quick thing that I did want to make sure to mention here is as we deleted a landing page published via the lead pages WordPress plugin, just keep in mind that's not going to delete that landing page from within your lead pages account. That page will still stay under the landing pages section of your account as you can see here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this tech tip. And don't forget, if you have any questions, our knowledge base and support team are just a click away under the question mark within your lead pages account.